Jeremy, welcome. I am so glad to meet you. Thank you so much for making the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, me too. That's uh, really excited to, to finally meet a, a teacher who's had some impact on me. Haven't had one of those in a while. so. Absolutely. And from the look of it, you haven't had a lot of quiet in a while. It sounds like you're uh, escaping from the noise of uh, children, yes? Yeah, they're still asleep, but uh, it won't take long for them to be up and around. <laughs> they're still asleep and you'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> exactly. So tell me a little bit about kind of your journey. I understand that you found our Speed Demon course through the Superhuman course and uh, take it from there. All right, cool. So yeah, I got into the productivity course uh, of yours, the Speed Demon, and I, I really appreciated. At first, I kind of didn't understand it. You're, you're going on and on about you know don't use this course for just getting more done, and right. you know what is it that you really want to get out of it? And I'm like, well, obviously, I want to get more work done. <laughs> obviously. So, uh, so I started to think about it more, and I'm like, well, you know, really, I don't want to do more work. <laughs> I want to have more time with my family. I was working overtime, not a ton, but uh, you know, it was encroaching. And uh, it was pretty common to work, you know, 30, 45 minutes, you know, three or four times a week. And I just felt really rushed and cramped throughout my day trying to get enough work done. And so I appreciate it. I was like, no, well, I want to get I want to get done what I got to get done in the amount of time that I have and then get home and be with my family and not have to worry about work at all. And so really did just that. I uh, I started putting into practice some of the things I had already heard in, in other areas. I've always, you know, been you know, online research blogs about, you know, productivity and whatnot, but uh, really taking the course and settling down and saying, look, I paid money for this. <laughs> I'm going to, to really try out these systems. It, uh, I found it really helpful. That's awesome. So what, what things would you say impacted you? What multi-part question, what things have kind of most impacted you and what have you implemented that's actually made a difference? Or I guess the first question I should ask, how much time have you saved? I think that's probably what people want to know. Well, um, the, the big thing that I look at is I have a job. I, uh, I work for a school district and I help keep uh, substitute coverage for all of our schools, for all of our teaching and non-teaching positions. And uh, just pretty much in a school district, everybody who's there needs to be there every single day. So if they're not there, then a replacement has to be. And so it's a, it's a big time consuming task and then keeping all the records associated with this so that employees get deducted for their time and substitutes get paid. And uh, also I get tons of interruptions throughout the day, which is really difficult, especially for me to manage. I'm not good with interruptions. Uh, so you know, when I got there, I want to say that the, the systems that were being used just weren't being fully utilized. They, um, the approach to things was, I want to say, a little antiquated. And at first, I just felt really overwhelmed that I had to get all this done and just trying not to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's a plus, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I was, you know, working, working, working too much overtime that, I, that was allowable for me. And just kind of felt really stressed right. and hectic. Like I said, I don't do well with interruptions. If I have too many throughout the day, like my stress levels, I can just really feel them creeping up. So I said, this isn't, an, mm -hmm. this isn't good. This isn't going to work for me. I had to, to fix it. And so since I found Udemy to fix one problem with the, what, to help me with the Microsoft Actus, I said, hey, let me, uh, let me look into this productivity course. I'll set my mind to that and, and see if I can help things out. And yeah, and, you know, I want to say that, uh, before it, I was, I was struggling to get my job done, obviously in the eight hours that I had obviously going over. Now I, I honestly feel that I could probably do my job. The biggest parts of it because of the phone calls and then the interruptions, it's hard to gauge that, but for the most part, do my job in probably three or four hours a day. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So that's a over 50% reduction in the quantity of time it takes to do yeah. your work. And of course, that's, that's a pretty wild claim. But uh, wow. I have to say that I was actually... That's incredible, yeah, though. Yeah. And so a lot of it... So, you know, when I was looking in the course overview, you know, you talked about automation. And so I guess that's a huge part of it. You know, we were paying for some systems totally. to keep track of records that weren't being fully utilized. So I spent a lot of time... Um, even up to before buying the course and, and me going into learning in some uh, some more database stuff to make sure that I could automate as much as possible 
and I really accomplished that, I want to say in August. And I think I started your course in September. No, maybe in, maybe in late August. So I kind of had the automation piece there. So, you know, when I'm listening to your course, I've already kind of got that principle um, for the most part taken care of because I did see the importance of that way back, but it took a long time to get set up. But uh, then, like I said, so then I had to tackle um, the day to day, uh, a lot of the interruptions, emails. It was, you know, before I had my email screen, right? I have, I have three monitors actually at work. Um, one of them, I just have my email up on all day. And after listening to, um, I can't remember the exact part of your course, but, uh, you know, you talk about these interruptions and, and making communications more brief and more effective. I thought I was like, I can't be sitting here with this, this screen up all day long. And I, I didn't know what to do at first. Cause you know, I, I cut, you want to be the person who everybody can go to and get the help and, you know, in a quick way, but at the same time, you know, <laughs> it drives you nuts. Yeah. You can't stop what you're doing all the time and, uh, and handle everything. So I thought, all right, well, I'm going to, I'll check my email three or four times a day. And so I kind of just strategically planned like, you know, so I, I have to make sure everything's in place in the morning. So my, my email is up for, you know, an hour and a half in the morning and I make sure everybody's good to go. Same thing with my phone, you know, I'm ready to answer it to get things set up in the morning. And then there's a certain part of my day where it's like, if you're calling me now, it's not urgent. And so I figured out that time. And I said, though, that's the time I'm going to start. I'm going to place the tasks that need more of my, my focus that I need to get into more of a flow state. And, and I'm not going to answer the phone and I'm going to shut my email off. <laughs> Brilliant. And lo and behold, that's Brilliant. So it's like, it's kind of like what I just recently published, which is this maker manager idea that I borrowed from Paul Graham of like doing this in full days. But since you're in a team and people depend on you, you've made it like maker manager periods. So a half day, which is maker and half day, which is manager, and then not letting those lines become blurred. I think that's really exactly. clever. Yeah. In fact, I really love that, uh, that part of the course that you put back in there or you put in there added. Right. Yeah, Cause I thought, man, that's exactly like what I do. I don't have a full day. I wish I, man, that'd be great. Wouldn't it? <laughs> but, right. uh, Right. So this is my manager day. So I haven't done any like, well, I mean, I guess this is creative work. We're right. recording, but yeah, very, very cool. So what other changes have you kind of implemented that have been really impactful? So one of the for biggest, you? uh, the most impactful pieces was the, uh, you call it the productivity star in the course, you mm -hmm. know? So yeah. I just kind of like, you know, I grab a new piece of paper. I write, you know, my biggest tasks for the day or for the week or whatever. And I know in your course, it talks about them being interrelated. Like a lot of times, just the stuff I got to do from the day to day, it balances between different areas. And so I remember the first time I sat down, I'm like, I don't know, like how they depend on each other. And I was like, well, maybe they don't depend on each other. But, you know, it just made me think about, you know, which ones strategically, which ones would be more beneficial to do first, or if not first, just knowing the nature of my job maybe what time of day I might set them for. Uh, so kind of going with that, you know, yeah. That makes a lot of sense too. That's interesting because it's like you already had the automation piece down and you kind of nicely summarized like the course right there. It's like prioritization, automation, and then just proper boundaries, right, for other human beings. That's a nice – I almost wish I'd organized the course into the three sections like that because that's exactly – that's exactly how I manage my own time. I wanted to ask you though, Jeremy, do you have any advice for people going through the course now uh, as far as, because a lot of students read all these things and then don't implement. I find that our biggest difficulty is not misunderstanding, it's inability to implement and act on the action. And you've done exactly that. So do you have any hmm. words of wisdom that you'd like yeah, to share with people? I mean, it just, when, when you learn a new, learn something new, and, uh, you know, sometimes it goes through your mind. You're like, wow, that sounds great, but I don't know, like, how would I do that? Then, you know, don't move on until you figure it out. The application, putting it in into a practice or, um, or keep listening to it, you know, 
do go um maybe like i listened to most of your course while i was driving to work <laughs> so <laughs> a, little, a little uh oh cool no no I no, no I wasn't as long as you're not watching it but listening to it <laughs> Very cool. So how are, how are you structuring your day now? I mean, outside of work. So you have, I would hope, more time with the little ones, mm -hmm. more time with the spouse. And how have you kind of filled the time otherwise? I mean, because that it sounds like you need to be at the office eight hours a day, but you've got a significant right. amount of time that so, you've now gained. So you know, I'm able day. to get home pretty much on time every day. And for those first, when I walk in the door, I don't always get it. Amazing. But, you know, most of the time it's, da, -da! you know, they come and hug on me and try to tackle me. And Amazing. my little girl just loves to bounce up and down on me to cause pain. Um, so I just kind of come home and I let that run its course. <laughs> and uh, before I... Uh, there's a lot, there was a lot going on with my work. Um, there's stuff going on with, uh, people try to contact me, uh, after hours. And there are some, there's a few things that mm -hmm. I like to keep on the lookout for. And so, because I just know walking in the next day, it's going to be mm -hmm. too late to deal with. So every once in a while, I, I just, I check my email on my phone, just scan through it. And there's really only a few keywords that I'll actually open it up and look for. But before I was, I was getting into it a lot more. I was, you know, just going back to work, even though I was at home. And now, you know, once I had the benefit of the course oh, wow. and I saw that like my work day was basically the effort that I had to put in the actual time that I had to dedicate to it was so much less than it used to be. I have the complete confidence that I don't have That's to do awesome. that. I mean, like I said, there's a few things I keep on the lookout for, but um, I wish I could standardize and just make an alert just if there's certain key. Well, I, I can. Yeah, I, I know I can, but oh, I, you can, I can't rely you can on everybody to use the same. You can get there. Some type of standardized. Uh, so this is a, an area of interest for me is uh, – without sounding like a total robot because friends have called me a robot, but how do you standardize procedures among people? And I'm going to record some stuff on that. It's going to be like some bonus material that we put in, but basically like how do you get people to function in predictable enough ways? Because in a personal context, you can't, but in a professional context, it's, it's very easy to have a conversation with uh, an employee and say like, Hey, you need to make sure that you're using this procedure dragging this task, this place, and then how do you get people and systems to kind of create these like cyborg processes that are altered with technology and are functionally consistent enough that steps can be automated. So like get people to tag things a certain way so that Zapier will pick it up and shoot it down the process. Uh, and that's what I've been innovating is like, you know, we have a video editor and there's a lot of variety to the way that we do video production. And this video will be edited different to, differently than a hundred other videos that he's done. So how do I create these dynamic living, breathing processes that are always improving and yet I don't All have right. to sit on his shoulders, yeah, you know, to get work done. To so more to come on that. Awesome. So Jeremy, I, I want to be respectful of your time. I know, uh, you're a busy man, despite the fact that you've made all this free time. Uh, so Thank you, and, and I really appreciate you sharing your story. I'm really, really uh, grateful to kind of been, yeah, have been a part of the process. I'm really, really glad you're succeeding with the content. All right, right, will do. All right, my friend. You take care, and let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.